Hello YouTube, in this video I'm going to show you how to get and configure Komodo Firewall 8. Komodo Firewall is a very good firewall. Um, it is a HIPS firewall which is a heuristic intrusion prevention system. There are a lot of things that blocks. The only downfall is, is you are going to get quite a few pop-ups on applications when you first start them asking whether you want to allow this connection or block it or if you want to allow this behavior or block it you basically have to train it what programs are allowed what programs are not and you can actively block programs actively allow programs and there's lots of things that you can control this one gives you absolute control over what all has connection and it will also actively block a lot of malicious sites and, and malicious packs. Uh, a lot of your packets will have a payload, and if there is a malicious payload in there, it will block it. It has a lot of different signatures for various things. Really good firewall to have. So once you get to the site, you're going to click on Continue Download under the Komodo Free Firewall. And as it says right here, it is Windows 10 compatible. <clears throat> I will supply the download link in the description. So just click continue download and then once the open file pops up click save file and with this being Firefox it's going to come up here if it was Google Chrome it would be down here same with IE which is Internet Explorer and once the download finishes your little arrow right here the progress bar will turn into a blue arrow click on it and then click on the file once the installer starts, then you can close out the web page. You can see I already have Zone Alarm Security or Zone Alarm Free Firewall installed. This is going alongside Zone Alarm, so I have a full firewall protection system that is protecting in multiple ways for multiple things. The two of these combined together makes for a very powerful firewall system and a very, very effective security method for your system to block a lot of malicious things. And I can tell you right now with either one of them, if they give you a pop-up about something and it's not something that you actively started, then something's trying to execute a program on your system. And from there, you need to decide whether it's something that you actually actively use on a regular basis or if it's just something that it tried to do on its own and is possibly malicious and needs to be blocked. So once it gets to this point, it's going to pop up the user account control, hit yes. And then select your language and click OK. Now you can deselect the enable cloud-based behavior analysis or you can leave it on. I would recommend leaving it on. And you can also deselect the send, send anonymous program usage if you don't want it to send anonymous information. And of course you can put in your email optional if you want. I would recommend putting it in. Click next once you're ready. Now I generally deselect set Komodo as default browser. I deselect replace Google Chrome shortcuts with Komodo shortcuts. And I also deselect import Google Chrome settings. Click next. Now here I want to enable added security while in internet by changing DNS settings to Komodo secure DNS servers. If you want to do this you can. I generally deselect it because my ISP's DNS if I veer away from that I tend not to have internet because for some reason some of the other DNS settings don't go through very well. So I also deselect setting Komodo's uh, the home page and then click agree and install. Now, once Komodo Firewall fully installs, you're going to want to go in and uninstall Geek Buddy. It is a paid service through Komodo for help with your system and things like that. If you want to keep that, you can keep it, and it kind of gives you the ability to have a tech on hand anytime you need or have a problem that pops up. I, on the other hand, as I said, always remove it because I don't need it, I don't use it, and I'm not going to pay for it. There is a paid version of Komodo Firewall. There's also the Komodo Antivirus, which works very, very well. 
I rate it right up there alongside uh, AVG, uh, McAfee, uh, Norton, and Avast. It's a really good antivirus. You can get the whole suite that has the antivirus and the firewall all in one. And the paid versions of them are very, very well worth the purchase. You don't have to purchase them. The free versions work great, but they are worth the purchase if you want the full pro versions. The Komodo Dragon browser, which you can see the icon that says Internet Komodo. The Komodo Dragon browser is just like Google Chrome, except for configured as Komodo stuff. And I very rarely use it. I really don't need to. I mean, I have Google Chrome, Firefox, all that anyway. So if you want to get rid of it, you can, but it's it's not bad to have a different browser as well just in case so once your install is finished click close and then you'll see here that it says needs attention click on that and you need to restart your computer to fix some changes to take effect that's pretty standard so before we do that we're gonna go ahead and go remove geek buddy to remove Geek Buddy in Windows 10, just right click and go to Programs and Features. And Windows 7, you'll have to go to uh, Control Panel and then Programs and Features to be able to remove it that way. I'm going to go ahead and remove Kermodo. I don't need the extra browser. And I'm also going to uninstall Geek Buddy. Whenever that first pop-up comes up, if you're at home, you want to make sure you click I'm at home. So that way your firewall knows where you're at and how it needs to configure itself accordingly. So now I'm going to install Geek Buddy. And now that both of those are gone, I'm going to restart it like it says. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret here. Instead of grabbing that screen and moving it up all the time, if you just click control, it'll go away. And now, as you can see, I have both Komodo Firewall and Zone Alarm Firewall installed on my lab system. And now it's going to come up saying that it's secure. This information is out there for absolutely everybody. As always, watch, like, and share. Have yourselves a great day.